Hello everyone, my name is Legend Ronnie and this game is Rise of Civilization. Now what this video is going to be about is your commander's preparation for Ark of Osiris. Now I do have a guide for Ark of Osiris if you haven't seen it already. It's more like a general guide. Well now I am trying to do this particular guide which is only focused on commanders. How you are going to talent your commanders because of, believe me there actually is specific talents just for Ark of Osiris. Some of them work all the time, we're gonna get there, but are some that are just specific for Ark of Osiris. Alright, so let's get started. First, Richard the First. Now, the main thing that you want to keep in mind, the garrison talents do not work in Ark of Osiris. So if you want to use your Richard or your Charles for defensing defensive is the defense talent pad that's your only chance if you want to use them for defense if you want to use them for infantry this is how you should build them should always do the infantry talent pad is the same one the standard and after that you go on the defense one i have pictures on uh, how exactly to progress to this and uh, those are on my discord the, on my discord they are the most updated one so if you're interested you can always down uh, check my discord the link is in the description of the video below so this is the richard infantry one and as i mentioned the garrison one do not work in arc of osiris if you want to use and defend buildings in arc of osiris with richard or charles you have to go the defense talent path so that is valid for Richard or Charles. Depending which one is going to be infantry for you, the other one should be on defense. And if you want to go and attack with your infantry, obviously main commander is going to be the infantry one. If you want to go defend, obviously the other one is going to be on defense. Minamoto. Minamoto has a couple of talent builds so i'm just gonna for him i'm just gonna pop up one just real quick where is it should have get it ready all right so minamoto has this one which you know i call it mobility it can be a little bit different than this but you know just like how to say it um something to start with so this would be the maximum mobility that minamoto can can get i'm just going to take myself out of here so it's obviously the green ones the red ones they are really really good the blue ones what you can not do from this ones but that, that's gonna be you know like um, choices or or option so you could skip undying rage from the left one and you could, could skip the blue one from the cavalry on the right one and you could get rejuvenate so this is the only thing that you could actually change now is this actually really that good i'm not entirely sure maybe undying rage could be much better yeah, so it's a matter of option. My Miramoto is gonna be when my arc is going to start, is gonna be similar as this one. I've used it in my last arc. I was really happy with the amount of mobility that my full cavalry rally had. So I'm definitely, definitely going to talent my Miramoto this way. So this is my talent build for my arc of osiris having the maximum march speed on my minamoto <clears throat> right now let's take this one out and now let's check which talents my minamoto has i've done yesterday a video about following force and people have asked me on that particular video why i haven't used domination because increase skill damage dealt to barbarian force by, by another 15%, which is a lot of damage. I mean, the skill damage would be much high. It would make sense. The reason I haven't done it is because this particular build 
if you do not care about Mars Speed, what I've just done, this particular build can also be used for your Ark of Osiris. In Ark of Osiris, you have 100% more damage. Well, Naked Rage has its down part, which I mention it all the time that I'm not really happy about using it. In Ark of Osiris, you have the shrine or the temple that gives you 50% faster healing. So having a little bit more injured than usual, I don't think that's going to be any problem. I believe that the most important thing in Ark of Osiris to, would be to do more damage. So you have two options. You want to go for the speed because you want to do cavalry and, you know, cheese your enemy. Because that's, that's what the cavalry rally is. That's like a cheesy rally because they are really, really fast by using Miramoto uh, main. You can use double C main as well. Don't get me wrong for those cheesy rally. We're going to get to him as well. But I just don't have a high level double c so i have to use miramoto for that reason so you, you can use cheesy rallies with a lot of mars speed on them or you can talent your miramoto with the full skill pad and as much as you can get from cavalry and then you have a large of skill damage a large amount of skill damage you're probably noticing in some of my arc videos that some players were able to do such tremendous amount of damage with Miramoto Double C. Well, this is the reason why. I'm not entirely sure if they had Naked Rage, but it's because of the skill pad. So you shouldn't really worry in Ark of Osiris about having a lot of injury. Because I mentioned you're going to heal them faster. And once the Ark is done, you all know that whatever injured you have, they're going to be healed when you get out. So there you go. I'm gonna take them in order as I, as I have them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go uh, to all of them. Boudica, there's nothing changed in Boudica. I'm gonna have to take myself out for for this to obviously see it. Has nothing changed in Boudica. I wouldn't really advise you to spend a talent reset just to, to reset her. I will still go with the peacekeeping because of the mobility she has. If you want to go on integration, that's up to you, but nothing crazy you can get from integration. So it's still the skill pad for Boudica. That's the way you should build her. If you're going to use her for your Ark of Osiris. Herman. On my last Ark of Osiris, I have to mention my Herman was a full archer talent build. I wasn't so happy about the skill damage. They were pretty tanky and they were surviving quite good with the archer talent build and the skill pad. Because I was having the full archer build and rejuvenate. So at level 51, that's 6 star Herman, I was having enough talent to get the last whistling arrows and rejuvenate. So it was enough points for that. So that's how I my Herman was. Now I changed my Herman to skill because I rather, as long as they survive, I rather have them to do a lot more damage. As I mentioned, this is for Ark of Osiris, where I don't care about severely wounded. So on this battleground, I don't really care how many severely wounded I have. If this would be a um, real world PvP scenario, my commanders would most likely be a little bit different you could also go with naked rage so you either kill or be killed but the problem is the cavalry actually is a lot of them in Ark of Osiris and they actually do quite a tremendous large amount of damage on you you want to give them another six percent that would be your choice for them I would really for archers I wouldn't really go with naked rage for them because still as I mentioned, Kvary, they actually do a lot of damage on you. I wouldn't really, really want to take extra. So yeah, no Naked Rage. That's why I didn't do it. But as I mentioned, it's Ark. Injuries don't matter. After the battle, you're going to get everything back. So it's entirely up to you. You can go with Naked Rage as well. Now, Scipio. There's nothing changed in Scipio. 
it's the same the same build if you have more points than me then you can obviously can get martial mastery my CPU is just six stars at level 50 now if you have him at level 60 you can get the martial mastery if you want the colored picture one I mentioned they are on discord now Lancelot now Lancelot is a little bit of a challenge this is my Lancelot. So I'm not sure if you're noticing, but I have tried to cover as much mobility as possible. So I have more speed, more speed, more speed, more speed, more speed. So every point where I stopped. I was aiming just for Marshpin. Now this is a six star Lancelot. Do I advise you to invest this, this much in a Lancelot? Mm, not really. This is a lot of investment. The reason I've done it was because back in the day I didn't have any cavalry commander. He was very easy to level up. I needed a cavalry commander for um, how to say fighting away all the farm killers. So that's the only way I got my Lancelot to 6 stars, so I can have a Cavalry Commander. Talents were different uh, when I done him, you know, like 5 months ago or, or so, they were very, very different. So yeah, no more about that, but I have him 6 stars, so I had to make use of him. He is the main unit that leaves my city when the arc starts. I use Lancelot. With Dragon Lancer, you guys can can watch some of my videos with Dragon Lancer, because this is what you care as Dragon Lancer as second in command, and just tier one troops. Now, how many tier one cavalry you want to bring with? That's entirely up to you. Can you just one, a hundred, ten thousand? That's up to you. So this is how I'm using my Lancelot with Dragon Lancer for fast capture. Now, there's another mention about Lancelot is this one. When Lancelot army has 15% or less units, increase all damage dealt and march speed by 15%. Now, if you go to the talents, there is the charge. When army led by this commander has been reduced to less than 15%, strength increase march speed by 30%. These two, they actually stack. So if you bring like 50,000 tier 1 infantry and you just let someone damage you and go below 50% so from 50,000 you go to uh, 25,000 or less you will get benefit from that skill and this talent now imagine how this build will do with another 45% march speed you don't have to return that uh, group home you have to keep it under 50% and you're gonna have a speed that you would dream of Low heart, I wouldn't really advise using low heart unless you just want to uh, send him to, you know, capture some uh, some resources. There's no other. There's no other reason to use low heart. And I was talking about low heart. Tomoe Gozen as well. I wouldn't really advise you to use Tomoe Gozen. John of Arc. The reason I wouldn't advise John of Arc is because she's no longer that defensive. I have seen players who are trying to use John of Arc for this particular buff, you know, this group buff, which is in war PvP, is really, really insane. But she doesn't have any defense, and to be honest, she goes down pretty, pretty quick. So you don't manage to benefit almost not at all from Divine Revelation. So I would try to skip John of Arc if it's possible. Julius Caesar, yeah, yeah. definitely. Definitely you want to use Julius Caesar. The way I would talent my Julius Caesar, I would talent him the same as Scipio. That's like, you know, the only option that can work for them, in my opinion. That's why... So my Julius Caesar is nothing crazy because he's not yet ready. El Cid. Now, El Cid is just a, another thing. El Cid, you know, is, does a great pair with Herman. By Herman being uh, the main commander, 
and you have a lot of mar speed now depending how high level your lcd is so obviously if you want to pair lcd with herman they'll definitely do a good combination if you go on the talents they have the same archery and skill pad so you can obviously do the full skill pad now maybe skip the naked rage that's up to you or do the naked rage and then you do the venomous sting exactly like herman is done for archers eulji mundok eulji mundok has pretty much one and only utility in Ark of Osiris and that would be the infantry build but make sure you have first a fortress so you have a fortress and the infantry build if you want to use it for mixture of troops that's very limited so it's only the attack pad for mixture of troops you want to use him as garrison that again is very very limited as the garrison do not work in Ark of Osiris so it's still the infantry or the attack pad that can work for you in Ark of Osiris so as I mentioned it's pretty much one and only talent build and that would be for infantry the infantry one let me see if I can bring this one up from the talent let's see how this one looks like yeah so pretty much pretty much is your infantry build is like your op only option to defend trying to bring only infantry in that garrison would also benefit you if not is really really thin he is a very good defender in terms of talent he has his fourth talent which is very very good against swarming maybe you, you want to put him as second in command how about that that can actually work as well so if you want to put him as second in command rather than a main command but a fortress that one is uh, very important for him pelagius now if you look at pelagius talents he has the skill and cavalry so pretty much you can build pelagius same as my minamoto so you can do the fill the full skill talent pad and then you can do the cavalry as much as you can like you know obtaining undying fury and maybe disarm if you manage to have that many talents constance gatherers you know the gatherers that's entirely your choice how you want to talent them then you have double c now i was mentioning about double c because my is not high and it will never be high if you want to use him for cheesy rallies and cheesy builds i'm just gonna uh, bring up his talents as i mentioned all these talents you can find them on my discord so it's the king of mobility one you can see the green ones they go up to the last one pretty pretty much same as Lancelot pretty pretty much same as Lancelot so this is the king of mobility talent tree because he also has 10 passive so he has 10 passive plus all this march speed uh, from these talents it has the the skill passive 10 and then he has the talent so this is the king of mobility talent tree which would be really, really helpful for your Ark of Osiris. Kusunoki. Now, as Garrison is not working, then your only option for Kusunoki is skill and archers for Ark of Osiris. And don't forget that Kusunoki has additional skill damage. So this is something you might want uh, to keep in mind about the skill damage. And venomous thing like the other ones you can check Herman is much more simple that's why I didn't really bring uh, up the pictures or you can uh, check them as uh, on my discord it's young YSG not YSG YSG is the same has the same talent build skill and archers 
as the garrison is not working so skill and archers that's the way you should do your YSG Osman now Osman has literally just one and only pretty much one and only so I'm just gonna bring it up this one is on my uh, on my discord as well where is it Osman the first all in one So obviously you want to do the skill and the reason I have chosen and and uh, Latin power you're probably wondering why I chose Latin power is because you never know who you want to pair him with so if you don't know exactly who you're gonna pair him with you might want to have Latin power as well so yeah this is pretty much one and only for your Osman he definitely he definitely needs the skill pad as I mentioned for Arc of Osiris purpose if you actually want you can go with the Naked Rage in Arc of Osiris everything is permitted there's 100% uh, damage and you can go with the Naked Rage for you know added damage it has ups and downs ups and downs if you get targeted by Kavari that 6% you will feel it but you can go with it if you want Now, who is next? Hannibal Barca. Hannibal Barca, this is why I didn't show it. It's same as CPO, it's same as Julius Caesar. They have leadership and they have attack. Now, obviously, if you're going to use him as a rally leader, same as Julius Caesar, then you definitely need in the name of the king. And don't forget about a fortress. Belisarius <clears throat> I've done the video about Belisarius when uh, you know I was mentioning free to play love Belisarius love and uh, and all that So yeah my Belisarius is level 10 8 4 star how I've done that is using the special stars I'm not gonna answer any comment <laughs> they're gonna come up how is my Belisarius level 10 and 4 stars I used the special stars and in terms of talents for Belisarius, this is how I would actually. This is how I would actually use him. I said here the new king of mobility because of his force skill. But in the end, if you want to think about it, that's only when he's leaving battle. So he gains that 50% march speed only when he's leaving the battle. So I'm not entirely sure if he's actually the new king of mobility but we can say he is if you know if you're cheesy enough to just uh, attack a little bit and then uh, bounce off without getting any damage you can benefit from that 50 percent but if not then obviously double c is the new king of mobility because he has passive 10 percent march speed doesn't have to do anything he has 10 percent on top of this If Belisarius is going to be your main commander, then I will still use this build for Ark of Osiris, at least to have mobility. I wouldn't advise Belisarius, you know, in general as a main commander, but for that particular reason, Cleopatra, I wouldn't really, I don't know how to say, it. I wouldn't really put so much high hopes on Cleopatra, so definitely, definitely just keep on gathering if you actually want to gather resources like other just keep on gathering Santu as surprising as, as it is someone just told me that Santu with CPO they make a really really tanky and crazy pair in Ark of Osiris now I was surprised when he told me that because you guys know I'm not in favor of Santu in any way but for Ark of Osiris, because there is 100% more damage and there is a lot of group fights, I have to say that Santu actually has an importance. And um, I'm just going to bring up the talents that I would advise for Santu in Ark of Osiris. So then we have Santu, we have Import Rebuild. I believe it's this one. Yep. 
So this is the infantry build that I would advise for him in Ark of Osiris. So this is the only place where I would probably say that he's a good infantry commander. This is how someone advised me to use him and Scipio for Ark of Osiris. I haven't tested it, my Sunsu is level 20, so obviously I cannot do it, but I know many of you have high level Sunsu. And if you have infantry, you can definitely try it. Sansu and Scipio for Ark of Osiris. He told me that the infantry is really, really tanky and because uh, the rage restoration, because you know Sunsu does fun shape area and he gets like 50% rage per target. That's like up to 250, so it's a lot of rage uh, restoration. And because of that, uh, he told me that Scipio is almost keeping his main skill up all the time. So that's 25% damage reduction and 25% counter attack damage, which is exactly what infantry needs. Because that's how infantry operates. That's why Charles Martel and uh, Richard, they are actually so strong uh, on the battlefield. They are very, very tanky and they do a lot of counter attack damage. So there's nothing wrong. If you put together Sansu and Scipio, so definitely if you have them both maxed out or you have Sun Tzu such a high level and you have enough infantry, you might want to give it a try. And then let the rest of us know. As I mentioned, this is un this is coming from a player named C from Alliance CNA and his name is number one. He told me about this, so I'm just uh, fast forwarding. Then Dragonlance, I mentioned how you should use him. <sighs> Markswoman, not at all. Just, you know, stop thinking about Markswoman. She might look wild, you know, but still, don't think about her. Frederick. Now, Frederick is a crazy nuker. If some people are asking me, why do I call a nuker? The skill damage is what I call a nuker. You know, they used to call them nuker for five months and then they just changed them like two, three months ago into the skill. For me, they are still nukers. Okay, and that's what I call a nuker. Whoever has a skill talent pad, because their main skill is designed to do a lot of damage. So, that being said, for Ark of Osiris, I would go the full skill talent pad, and then I would go the strategic prowess. If you look at it, he has the same talent build as Osman. Osman has the same skill and leadership, so you can go ahead and check the picture from Osman and then you can apply it to Frederick, it's the same thing. Obviously he needs the skill. City Keeper. Now if you actually need a substitute for your infantry, believe it or not, you could use City Keeper, but that's your own choice if you actually want to do that. He has a decent amount of boost for your infantry, but no, I'm not so so about it. There are so many epic commanders that could probably grant you much more benefits. Yeah. Mehmed the second. Yeah. Now Mehmed the second is so much designed on hitting cities, you know, by rally capacity, troops capacity, additional damage and damage factors to the city that, you know, his utility drops, you know, quite significant. No, when attacking city, it's, it says here over here, 10% chance to deal additional damage. His main one, the additional damage, uh, is for city garrison and watchtower, and same is his expertise. However, in Ark of Osiris, damage, AOE damage is very, very favorable. And this guy does a lot of AOE damage. Then he has a attack bonus to troops and skill damage bonus, so there's even more skill damage. Then you have troop capacity 10% and if you actually want to rally and use him, you have another 10%. He is good for Ark of Osiris, hell yeah. For group damage he is, if you want to use him, you do the full skill talent pad, same as freaking Frederick or Osman. So I don't have to pop up the picture or you can check the actual picture on my Discord. Another way you could do him is, uh, you know, maybe trying to get buckler shield from this one. This could help you a little bit. It could work as well on Frederick. But I would just go the full skill talent pad and then strategic prowess. So for group damage, AOE damage, if you have a high skilled mech med, you can definitely use him. There's nothing wrong with 
Mehmed on that. Babers. The only place where I actually think Babers excel. Arc of Osiris. The reason why is because of his AoE damage. He goes up to 1000 damage, maximum of 5 targets. And if you bring on Ikavari with you, you also have a mobility bonus. You have attack damage bonus to your Kavari. And how about that? If something goes wrong, you just bounce off and you have a lot of Mars speed. So definitely, definitely Babers does a very good job on Ark of Osiris. He also slows your enemies, so how about WTF to that? He works great with Mehmed, or if you don't have enough infantry, because I mentioned about the Sun Tzu CPO build, you can definitely pair him up with Sun Tzu. How you're gonna build his talents is definitely the full skill talent pad. Naked Rage is optional, that's entirely up to you, but for uh, Ark of Osiris, you can try it. See how good and bad it is. And then you make your way to Undying and Dizar. That would be pretty much about it. So yeah, for Ark of Osiris, Bay Burst, he's definitely, definitely really, really good. You should definitely use him. For Ark of Osiris, you know, AoE damage. If you have him upgraded, skilled up, definitely does a great job. Alright, so that's pretty much about all. That's about 31 minutes. It's probably more than I would ever wanted. But I did cover all the commanders and all the talent builds. As I mentioned, the talent builds are slightly, slightly different on, on some of them. Slightly modifications that, uh, that you could use for Ark of Osiris. So I mentioned builds only for Ark of Osiris. Until next time, this is your boy Legend Ronnie signing out. Peace out, yo, and take care.